Welcome to Mushroom Month. I have a fear that this might be one of those videos where you don't see many shots being taken. You may see a lot of shots, but I may not have time to take them because in the short time I've been here, maybe half an hour or so, I've seen lots and lots of uh, potential shots. And what I'm trying to do is get them illuminated by this thing here. But what you may have noticed is that that thing isn't stable. I mean, yeah, it goes behind clouds, it moves. And uh, a lot of the shots I've taken, or have kind of set up for, have vanished by the time I've actually got the tripod around to them. And uh, yeah, this uh, this here is uh, is one that I'm not going to be able to show you me taking. But um, hey, let's face it, we mock up a lot of these anyway because the shots more important than the video. So we take the shot, then we pretend to take the shot. I yeah, <laughs> sorry, behind the scenes, you know. Um, <laughs> but to a degree I can't even do that because you know I can't show you the shot as it is before I take it so to speak you know it's yeah I, I, I can't mask the fact it's a lie so uh, yeah hell uh, yeah sorry live with it so one of the things I haven't done a lot of before is photographed fungi with uh, backlight or a lot of natural lighting because often when I found them they're quite deep in the uh, in the woods and I'm on the margins here so you know there's a lot of light and it's filtering through and getting them but <laughs> because there's backlight obviously uh, I'm then struggling not to blow out the highlights behind and to illuminate the mushroom from the angle that I'm viewing it uh, or photographing it so I'm <coughs> I'm using these uh, yeah little uh, Ulanzi lights, links to these down below. Obviously, they're uh, affiliate links. I'll get the tiniest of commissions if you uh, if you buy these. They're very good. You'll have seen them in other videos. I, mean, I can't praise these things enough. They are stunningly useful things to have in your bag. Anyway, here's the shot of this mushroom. I don't know what particular type of mushroom it is. Someone can tell me. I, I take so many pictures of mushrooms that I really ought to know, I'm sure, but uh, I'm sure someone out there can tell me what this is. Apart from gorgeous, obviously. As much as I really love shooting these things, it is so, so hard on my knees. I get cramps so, so quickly. And I am shying away from it year on year. So for this shoot I've come out with a K&F concept tripod which they've very kindly sent me. It's not a sponsored video and they're not asking me to say anything particular about it. They've asked me for my views on it and uh, I can only give views on it if I'm using it. Now the important thing that you may remember about a lot of my tripods, well most of my tripods really, the ones that I really like, is that they have this uh, articulating head. Not that you can see that there's an articulating head on it. Hold on. And that kind of flexibility means it's perfect for macro. Now, this is my old Giotis tripod, and uh, Giotis no longer make them. In actual fact, I don't think Giotis actually make tripods at all any longer. If this wonderful old thing, I say old, I mean, it's probably five, six, seven years old maybe, but if that ever breaks and fails, the only way I can get um, new parts for it or replacement parts is to buy donors, which is a pain in the neck. Now, <coughs> There aren't many companies out there that make uh, the articulation parts that this has, or the articulated heads and such that these have. Um, I think uh, Vanguard, I think, makes one. But there's plenty of them that make angled heads, or, you know, rather, because, let's, let's be more accurate. You see, this angle here can uh, change, so I can move this, I'm really hand-fisted with this. So you can see, we can do this with it. Whereas most of what you can get these days will only go uh, horizontally. And I thought that initially that that was going to be a, a problem. But actually I realized that there was a particular benefit to the type that only go horizontally over and above this. And we'll get to that 
in a moment. So in this shot, I'm not lighting the mushroom. I'm lighting an area behind it just to provide a little bit of definition in the, the softness of the image as it regresses back. And I've also dressed the shot with a little bit of uh, oak leaf right in front of the camera lens to give that really, really soft, dreamy kind of feel looking through it because the focusing point is probably about two and a half foot beyond the, uh, the front of the lens. And it's given it a lovely, lovely ethereal kind of dreamy, dreamy look to it. I wasn't convinced by this dreamy look, so through the magic of shooting it twice, here's a cleaner version. I think this is better. Let me know which one you prefer. I met a lady who was walking her dogs uh, uh, in the woods, would you believe? And uh, she said that uh, she'd been out pretty much all of yesterday with her nephew shooting mushrooms. And uh, she said, you want to come down here because there's loads and loads of them. And uh, hell, yeah. And this is, yeah, this is, uh, this is puffball alley. They're everywhere. But uh, it's not just puffballs, there's other species here as well. I don't know enough about them, as I've already said, to tell you what these others are. But I've got a few down here that I'm looking at and, uh, and setting up for, which you probably just about see. And, uh, yeah, um, I think there's a... There's a good 20, 30, 40, 50 minutes to be spent mucking about in just this relatively small area. Now, so far, I've been shooting with my long lens, the 40 to, to 150. Uh, and if you're not counting that in micro four thirds terms, then uh, you'll think that's quite, uh, quite not long. Um, but of course, micro four thirds, you double it. So it's an 80 to 300 approximately. Uh, Anyway, I've been doing that because I've been more interested in getting kind of the whole mushroom in rather than going in macro and getting all of the details. Not to say I'm not getting the detail, but I'm getting the mushroom more in its environment uh, rather than putting my 60mm macro on and getting that much closer. But I've got a clump of three here, which I'll show you a shot of in a minute and a more kind of wide scene um, that I feel that probably need the macro. So I'm going to give that a go. I put the macro on and I got a lot closer and I, uh, I used the lights, one of which I'm using to illuminate me because uh, as you can see here, it's, well, it's not dark, but you know, there's not a lot of light to do things naturally, particularly shooting me, as you can see there, if I take the light away. And I didn't get any video of this because it's all down on my knees and the only audio you're going to get from that is quite simply Ow! And lots of boop! And, um, yeah, uh, you don't want to watch that. But also, it's very long-winded, you know. Uh, the tiniest of movement makes such a difference to uh, the composition when you're so close and, yeah, such a big kind of a magnification factor. I mean, it's one-to-one. -one. Well, it's probably not one-to-one, -one, but, yeah, it's, it could be close to, I don't know. Uh, I, I didn't pay attention. The camera is on its side, it's upside down uh, and such, and it's just really awkward. So I do hope I've got one or two shots uh, here, and uh, if I have, I'll put them up now. If you're enjoying the video, please drop a like. And if you'd like one of these fungi on the wall, my contact details are down in the description. All of the photos in this video are focus stacks. Some of them have been done in camera, but these last three particularly were done in Photoshop because the camera didn't do a very good job of the merge. So what I was alluding to earlier with the difference between this tripod with the articulating head being up here. Lots of faffage there, sorry. This one is a little different. If I take the camera off, it will make a bit more sense because, in actual fact, it'll be, make even more sense if I take the centre column out. You see, the centre column in this is in two pieces. You've got a sliding part there which telescopes in and out. But also, when it comes out to that point, you can do that with it. And whilst this arm isn't very long, um, I think it's about a foot, the great thing is it's actually part of this, whereas 
the articulating part on this one is actually part of the tripod. So this articulation being part of the centre column gives me more Actually, more is the uh, the wrong word. It gives me a different ability because I can invert this now, tighten that up, and get the tripod lower. And I'm not going to muck about too much. But the point is here, I can manoeuvre this around at this uh, level, which I can't do here because the lowest I can get this is basically um, well that kind of height I mean, if, you know, if you were to get the legs all the way out on this you're still that and that off the ground which is a bit of a nuisance whereas with this one I can get the legs splayed out and be completely at ground level which makes one heck of a difference so this video isn't in any way a full review of that uh, that tripod i'll put links and such down uh, below and if you follow the links uh, that i give you below uh, and buy one of these tripods or uh, a set of filters or something you'll get a 10% discount if you use the offer code that's down below. And I'll also uh, get a bit of a, a kickback from KNF, which is very welcome because, well, we all need a little bit of money once in a while. And uh, if you want to help me out uh, with the channel and support me, then if you want one of these or other KNF gear, go and uh, go and check out those links because it will, it will uh, help me with a bit of commission. I've been using this for probably two and a half weeks and almost exclusively I've almost exclusively been using it as my main tripod that's not because I expect it to replace my uh, Giotta's tripod it won't it's not good enough to do that but it is good enough to replace my travel tripod you see it's only a uh, hundred or so grams heavier than the other tripod uh, which you can see a review of uh, uh, in the corner here um, and that's a great tripod if you can get it at the right price but ordinarily that other tripod is the same kind of price as this uh, this KNF down here and that beats it hands down every time I mean the, there's no, no two ways about it if you're in the market for a travel tripod and that yeah that's what this is it, it's yeah it uh, folds down to not very much uh, and one that's got a great deal of flexibility well not wobble <laughs> you understand but flexibility it's it's a strange term isn't it flexibility on a tripod um, often not what you want but I think you know what I mean uh, if you want a great deal of flexibility then I do recommend it it's it's good enough for me to take out as my only tripod uh, I've been to the beach with it I've been to the woods with it uh, and um, I like it I like it a lot it's not perfect nothing's perfect uh, yeah the Giotus isn't perfect everything's a compromise and you'll notice that I tend to carry two tripods that's because I've got a video stuff for you and I've got to steady the camera for the photography and carrying two incredibly versatile tripods that's a better word isn't it not flexible but incredibly, incredibly versatile tripods uh, is uh, is really really handy if you want to see other mushroom shoots check out these videos here otherwise we'll see you next time like and subscribe take care I can't hold this pose forever <laughs>